Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a random love reading for Scorpio because I put up uh, videos on Thursdays and asked questions of people who uh, wanted to know some things. A lot of people it didn't resonate, so I thought I'd better give you guys another reading to tide you over till Monday. Right, Scorpio, let's see what's happening with you. The energy surrounding Scorpio in their love life, married, single, anything in between. What is it you need to know? Oh, there you are. Oh, I see you feeling pretty happy. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You, know, you got someone here who's a little shy. Or a person is just kind of holding back, not saying too much right now. But honestly, I feel like you're in a pretty good place. It's an energy of, you know, being confident, putting yourself out there. I see cooperation, compromise. I feel like you're just doing you. I feel like you're not going to compromise. I, I feel like you want someone to, to put themselves out there to say. But this is also an energy of knowing when not to say something. <laughs> That's what I feel it's telling me. Knowing when not to say yeah, I don't think you're going to bend over backwards to please anyone. But like I say, I feel it's an energy of just, you know, what two people bring to the table here. Yeah, you got a person here, I feel. Huh? This is someone who may be acting like they don't care when they do. Could even be yourself. Little devil energy, some Capricorn. But this is somebody here just not saying too much. Yeah, they want to. But like I say, they're very apprehensive. Yeah, someone acting like they don't care when they do could even be yourself. Yeah, there you are, Scorpio. Acting like you don't care. I do see something ending. With every ending comes a beginning. You may be thinking of ending a situation with someone. Okay, but I feel like it's telling you to just kind of maybe compromise a little. Just kind of hang in there because I feel like I'm getting that vibe. Yeah, sometimes it's a person shy or they're just not saying too much. Acting like they don't care. It could cause an ending. But I feel this is just, you know, could be something internal here too. But I do see an ending. Yeah, thinking about it. I mean, you know what you want, you're not settling. You don't want to settle for someone, I feel, maybe who doesn't compromise. Or maybe you just feel like you're not compatible. But I feel like you're doing you. You're pretty much in a happy place. But I also feel it's telling you to see the bigger picture here. Yeah, I mean, it could be yourself acting like you don't care, just doing your own thing, and this person's holding back. So, yeah, this could cause an ending, or it already has. Yeah, see, it's an energy of taking a little time, being patient, pulling back, seeing things different. This person's different than usual type, a little different temperament. You know what, the, the fact that the devil card's in the middle, this is someone who's crazy about you. They're just acting like they don't care, but I'm, I actually feel like you're crazy about them. <laughs> but take it how it resonates for you. There's some kind of change here. See, it's an energy of some kind of change, change for the better, after kind of taking a little time and looking at it different. This is someone different than usual type, and it's also this is someone who may be thinking of trying something different because you're different too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this is actually two people who could actually just be right with each other. If you just, it's it's compatibility, going down this path, cooperating, compromising. I feel like you don't want to bend over backwards to please them. That's why I feel like it's kind of yourself. I hope it doesn't cause an ending. It's often just an internal that someone's thinking. But there's that Ten of Pentacles. See, it's about partnering up. Seeing that something may not be in your best interest, but it's saying to just be patient. I'm going to look at things different. Look at things the way this person may be feeling. Different temperament. You feel something is off. And it could be them feeling something is off or you're just different. Yeah, you see, that's, let's have a look at that energy. Oh, you're definitely in that fiery energy, the Mars energy like Aries. That's one of your planets. You know what you want. You want this person to put themselves out there. Yeah, see, it has to do with taking a leap of faith taking a risk. I think you're looking before you leap, though. 
you want this person to take that risk. You're, I, you know, and I do think you're thinking about it here, or it could end. I actually feel it wouldn't hurt for you to put yourself out there if you're thinking about it. It doesn't hurt sometimes. It's a, I mean, it's an energy of, you know, it's that Aries, it's Mars energy. It's that, you know, fighting spirit of just going for it. So maybe you just don't want to look like a fool. But yeah, you know, see a little confusion, a little romance. Maybe you're thinking about some romance. You feel like taking a leap of faith here. But it's also secrets, mystery, feeling a little confused. You got someone with a little cancer in their chart here. I think this person's crazy about you. I do feel they're keeping things to themselves. I, I see romance. I feel like you want to go for it. Live in the moment. <laughs> Tell me another about the moon. Clarity on that moon. Yeah, see, it's about going for it, rushing in. Yeah, a little passion, see, feeling really enthusiastic. I, I, I feel like you may. Now, this person, I feel like I feel they're just keeping things to themselves, maybe feeling a little confused, but I'm seeing romance, a lot of passion here. Yeah, I see a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. It's all about the timing. The timing is now. It's now or never, because it could end. They may decide to end it. I mean, it could be you thinking about that. If things will go in your favor, you don't want to look like a fool. But I think you're going to live in the moment. I think this is you going for it. And I do think once this, if you do, I think this person will become more enthusiastic. But it could end. I mean, you may be thinking if it does, you know, could this just could end it? So, yeah. It's the, end, it's the end of someone acting like they're not interested. And I feel like it could be you acting that way because you don't want to look like a fool. So I don't think, maybe you're thinking they're just not interested. Let's see. What is this page of cups all about? Who is this person and what do they want? Oh, they want some love. They want some romance and love. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They want to ask you out, but they're acting like, or it, maybe it's yourself acting like you don't care. See, this person's crazy about you. <laughs> Yeah, it's an invitation to your house, home, vice versa. Yeah, they're just kind of, this is someone who's, if, I actually feel if you go for it, they'll feel a little more confident here. Because I don't know what's go. you know, I mean, you could flip this energy, but <laughs> interesting read. See, someone's just waiting, making someone wait. It's about a situation coming to fruition. It's either, is this going to happen between the two of you, or should you just end it? But I feel like it's, I honestly, I mean... <laughs> I don't think either one of you want this to end. I mean, this person wants to ask you out. They may want to invite you to their home, but there's a reason to celebrate. So I actually feel if you take a take that leap of faith, and I don't often see the feminine energy do it, but I know, Scorpio, that you will often do that. Take the risk. Because I feel like you don't want to risk if it doesn't go in your favor. And it could be them too. I mean, they could have Aries in their chart. They might be... You know, I definitely see the Capricorn energy. The devil made me do it. <laughs> but I think this is just an energy of someone acting like they're not interested, keeping someone waiting. Well, how long do you wait, right? Yeah, I feel that's yourself. You're waiting for this person, for the situation to come to fruition. Let's have a look at the death card. Yeah, seeing the truth. This is that little light bulb goes off, coming up with some idea. Yeah, this is energy of having faith, some kind of idea. It's also energy of looking at how someone's conducting themselves. It's a person I feel. They, they kind of lack the faith too. So, yeah, I feel like you just need to get on the same page. It's just, it's just a matter of someone taking the leap. And it could be them. They don't want to feel like a fool. Nobody wants to feel like a fool if the other person's not interested. But I feel it's an energy of the timing is right, the timing is now. I mean, they could be just wait, but this is, a, this is definitely a hurry. An energy of, you know, going for it. Just one last look over the shoulder and yeehaw, here we go. <laughs> yeah, see, it has to do with, could be having to do with a commitment. It's either someone commits or it's an invitation. See, it's about building the foundation, having faith and building. See, there's not really a foundation here yet. Something hasn't quite started or got off the ground. So, you know, they're taking their time. They are manifesting. They have all the tools, the information, manifesting. It's all about communication.
So someone kind of taking their time. They're looking at the situation. They're feeling apprehensive, a little less. Yeah. I think it's just two people who need to get on the same page. But there is apprehensive whether you, you know, lifestyles, habits, and things you have in common. But I feel there's an energy of you're kind of mirroring. And I can see the energy. Who's taking the leap of faith? Who's doing it? <laughs> it's a, the mirroring energy. You see, you both, you both want this. You both, maybe you're both even acting like you're not interested and you are. But I definitely feel like you're maybe thinking this person is or they're thinking you are. So there's the waiting game. Who's going to make the first move? Who's going to build the foundation? It's about a situation coming to fruition. So, yeah, it's about feeling safe and secure. It has to do with something long term. Yeah, see the things you have in common, lifestyle habits, you know, creative energy going down this. It's about building each other up, kind of lifting each other up. So, yeah, the things you bring to the table, too. There's some definitely some thinking, I feel. This is someone gathering info, the tools, having everything they need. But this is two people looking to see what the other person brings to the table. So there's some thoughtful energy. You, know, you can see this person's choosing their battles. They're thinking things through. They're pulling back a little, kind of looking at it, trying something different. This person's trying something different, or maybe you're trying this. Like I say, the mirroring. I feel both of you, because it's in the center. You're both kind of acting like you're not interested. You're both kind of waiting. Or it's just that energy of driving each other crazy. So maybe not even where you act like you're not interested, but you're driving each other crazy. There's no doubt here. And I do think this person's going to... I do see a little Gemini, some Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely Cancer. This person's going to go for it here. I feel they're just taking their time communicating. They're going to, I feel like you're going to get what you want here, but you can go for it too. It doesn't really matter who. It doesn't matter who. Because I, I feel it to this person. I mean, you may have old school rules where you want that person to be the one to start it. Who follows rules anyway? It's unconventional, doing whatever, like, yeah, if they have some Gemini in their chart, they could, sometimes Geminis kind of like to be the one to do the chasing, to start it, so, I mean, you can make a decision yourself, you're going to have to decide either way, but it's about living in the moment, and just going for it, you know, they're thinking it through, tell me about this Knight of Swords, yeah, it's an energy of chasing, they don't want you to get away, too, that's why I feel it, you're driving this person crazy. You're driving each other crazy. They definitely have some feelings. They want to ask you out. They want to talk. They want to communicate. Yeah. There we go. So this is an energy of change for the better after taking a pause. Yeah. So it's just kind of going with the flow here, see? But I feel it's an energy of some kind of change for the better. So yeah, it's a happiness, emotional fulfillment. It has to do with an opportunity, some kind of event. It's about someone putting, who's going to put themselves out there? Who's going to put all those cups on the table? I feel like there's somebody feeling enthusiastic, really happy though, because I do think they'll go for it. They would be just as happy if you did though. Oh, the mirroring. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at that. The world energy. Those of you who are just, you know, connecting with someone now, or it's an energy of taking things to the next level, uh, maybe even committing. But I feel it's more about how two people conduct themselves. It's an energy of having faith. See, the apprehension. This is someone feeling a little apprehensive. But, you know, they're thinking it through. They're looking at the details of the situation. I feel it's just somebody is going to take a little bit of time. They're kind of slow. They like, they're very meticulous. They like to kind of look to make sure they have everything right, the information. But I feel they do. And they're also, it's like I say, it's also an energy of who's, what you each bring to the table here. They're thinking about this. They're thinking it through. Yeah, a little reminiscing. You know, someone longing for love. See, reminiscing. It could be someone coming back around. Who's going to make the move? Now, it could, doesn't have to be reconciliation or maybe you've had a date with this person already too and you're kind of waiting for something. But it's an often a person who just reminisces about things where they didn't think things through. So it has to do with this person becoming decisive. Yeah, could have something to do with children too, lifestyle habits. But I feel it's an energy of romance and romanticizing. If they want it, they're going to have to come and get it, right? 
I kind of get that vibe a little bit. Yeah, who's going to do it? I, it? It's an energy of not following society's rules. But I think, you know, I'm not going to tell you what I think. I think you need to kind of think this through. Look before you leap, okay? Just look before you leap. I feel there's just confusion, but I see romance, somebody feeling romantic, very passionate, like they're really into this. I mean, it, maybe it's yourself, you really want this with this person, you take that to the next level, it's just kind of waiting for a situation. Let's have a look at that three of wands. You got an emperor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is someone who kind of likes to do things their way. It could be old school rules. But I feel it's an energy of ending something. Could be someone who's ended the situation. But I really feel it's an end of this um, craziness. It's driving each other crazy. But, yeah, it could be someone thinking, well, if I don't do this, it could, you know, because if you've already connected, well, you know, they don't want to end this. Just kind of waiting, waiting to see what happens, going with the flow. But I do see positive change. After someone takes a little moment, it's just being patient, looking at the situation. Yeah, it's an energy of someone moving on. That's why yeah, I see it's an energy of change, taking it to the next level. So this is someone who feels like it might end. You may go your separate ways. But I feel it has to do with this per leveling up. It's like catching up, two people coming together. I think you're actually going to come together, not apart. Sounds strange, but yeah, I mean, they're romanticizing. I don't know if this is an actual relationship where you've been on a little pause or something. I don't really see that, but I feel it has to do with a cycle ending, a new cycle. Someone here, it's, this is the energy of now, okay? So someone in a hurry, they feel like they need to do this now. They need to hurry up, and they're feeling enthusiastic, but someone, you know, that you're driving each other crazy. Someone's driving you crazy, keeping you waiting, or vice versa. Or they're doing it on purpose, or they think you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> they say mirroring. <laughs> Tell me about this emperor. What's this person's intentions? Yeah, they're feeling the love. Yeah, this person is ready to take action, to fight for it, to go for it. I, and I'm going to tell you, honestly, I see a, somebody with a sense of humor. I do not see this as arguing or fighting. I mean, it could be. It could be someone who's afraid to take a leap of faith if they were in a really unhealthy relationship before. A little bit of, you know, concern there. But I feel it's someone coming in to take action because that's an emperor. This is someone who's not really afraid. They're not afraid. This is someone who goes for it if they want to. But I think this person's... Kind of, I mean, there's action. This, I think this person has a sense of humor. Got to be honest. I feel there. this is just an energy of someone who's finding this kind of funny. I, I feel they want you to take that leap of faith. Now, if you've already taken a risk with this person and it didn't go in your favor, which I don't really see has happened. I mean, it's possible, you know, but I, you know, I can see that energy of looking before you leap. Yeah. See, who's going to start this? <laughs> happiness and joy, feeling really good. I don't really feel there's anything negative. To be honest, I actually feel this person thinks this is kind of funny. I think they're doing this on purpose. I think it's the masculine holding back. They, or, I mean, if it is you, you're driving them crazy. They need to take action. They need to come in and take action. They need to hurry up before this ends and you take another opportunity as well. So tell me more about the five of wands. Why is this here? It's almost like this competitive energy, competition. Yeah. There it is. See, it's a, temperance is here twice. This person's, I, I think this person feels like you're tempting them. And they're just taking a pause. They may test the water, but like I say, it's where something feels a little off. So they're looking at it. But I, I actually feel it's funny. I don't know why. I just... And I don't really see game playing. I feel it's probably something that'll, you know, it's all about change. Somebody pulling back, changing. Something has changed. It's, but it's two people pulling back. I feel like you're tempting each other. You're both tempted, but nobody's moving just yet. 
You're both waiting for the other person, yeah, you know, to make the offer. <laughs> they want to offer you. I think they'll offer you the cup eventually. Decide for yourself, because it re honestly, it isn't going to matter who makes that first move, who starts it. But you can see when I was up here, that card came out, starting it, taking a leap of faith. So, you know, if you maybe you've taken risks before and situations didn't turn out, so you might be kind of reflecting on the situation that happened before. Because that's what that's all about. The fool. One last look. Okay, what did what did, what happened before? Oh well, I'm just gonna go for it, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know, not afraid of taking risk. I don't think this person. I mean, it's an emperor. They're not afraid of taking risk. I don't. I think they'll go for it. So, yeah. You know, I mean, if I were the feminine, I'd probably just sit back and just, you know, bide my time. Just be happy. Just do your own thing. I mean, you know what you want. <laughs> I think you both want this. Definitely both people want this. Yeah, so this is a star. So it has to do with the feelings being mutual. It's my mutual card in love readings. It's become a mutual card. Just, yeah. But I really like, see, it's an energy of releasing things that no longer serve. This is energy of someone seeing someone knows their worth and value. So that's why you might be doing that. But, yeah, I think this is an energy of feeling mutual. Yeah, this person's, it's everything they could ever want. I mean, it's like both of you. <laughs> some Aquarius energy, some Gemini energy. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's the, what just came out, yeah. Should I or shouldn't I? Back and forth. <laughs> oh, life's, I mean, I see life's having their ups and downs, and someone's kind of weighing the good with the bad, the pros and the cons, have taken that leap of faith. Yeah. That's so funny. I don't know if this is a relationship or situation that's been on and off. Or, you know, this is often just life's ups and downs. It's temporary. Obstacles, challenging. It's who's going to take action. This person's weighing the pros and the cons. You know, I, I'm sensing, actually, to be honest, I'm sensing impatience. <laughs> Not patience. <laughs> Someone's becoming impatient. Let's have a look. I got to dig in this. This is funny. I feel like there's humor here. I actually feel this is, there's, there's some humor. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, I lost it. It flipped right over. There we go. Yeah. Someone's thinking, should I walk away? Should I just end it and walk away? Or have they walked away? Because there's maybe no communication. But it's an energy of two people looking for the same thing. Should I or shouldn't I? See, it's an energy of searching. Leaving something that isn't emotionally, you know, fulfilling behind. But this person's, they're not feeling that. I mean, you could be feeling that. You should just maybe walk away and end it. Maybe you have another opportunity. Yeah, But it's an energy of searching, looking for something. Oh, yeah. You got someone grounding themselves, being practical, sensible. They may have Capricorn in their chart. You're driving them crazy, but I, it's both of you, no doubt. This person could be a bit of a workaholic too, so I do see things. They're very structured. They have a routine. Um, could be somebody changing some kind of change of structure, change of routine, change of plan. So this is like plan A, plan B. <laughs> yeah, and we have the Empress, the birth of something new. Yeah, this person knows a good thing when they see it. Yeah, the feminine energy, you see. They're looking to see if you're open. I feel like you're open to this, especially if this, I mean, I don't see reconciliation, but it could be someone missing someone, but it's also romanticizing, fantasizing, yeah, yeah, see a lot of emotion, you're both thinking happy thoughts, so that's why I feel this is very positive, I feel there's just some humor here, but I, I mean, it could be the feminine energy, this person's thinking, this is that feminine energy of keeping someone waiting, driving them crazy, Capricorn, yeah, see, it's about partnering up, two people coming together, they want to ask you out, I mean, I can see it, but it's about two people looking to see if the other person has their best interest, or if they're even interested in each other, you know, there's all this on and off, back and forth, yeah, see, they're going to come in, this person's going to lose it, they're going to communicate, they're just going to all of a sudden go for it, take a leap of faith, 
It's just going to happen out of the blue. They're just going to become spontaneous. Let's have a look at this Two of Wands. Yeah, it's an energy of being confident, taking things to the next level. Yeah, it's also about coming on strong. Yeah, they feel pretty confident. Honestly, I feel it's just a matter of becoming maybe more confident. But, <laughs> yeah, they want this to be a victory. They definitely want that victory. But it has to do with taking it to the next level. Life path choice decision for some of you. It has to do with, will this be long term? See, this is someone who actually feels confident. They're planning ahead. I think they're just going to go for it out of the blue. I think you'll get a communication suddenly. But it has to do while they build up that confidence here. Life path choice decision, change for the better. Just kind of going with the flow, seeing where it's going, coming in with that positive energy that this could actually be something special long term. So I don't really feel this is two married people at this point. This is two people. You might be dating. It's been on and off. And now it's time to take it to the next level. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, the tower. See, spontaneous. <laughs> That sudden epiphany where they just all of a sudden see it's an energy of a shock, a surprise. This person's going to come in. They know, too, if they don't move, it could end. You could decide to end to this, Scorpio. Now, some of you, too, I do see a scenario where somebody is thinking of ending a situation. And heading in your direction. I feel this person has some Aries in their chart. Or Sag. I mean, it could be anyone. It's fiery. It's the epiphany. The tower coming down. That this could end. See, this could be the end-all, be-all of a situation if they don't hurry up. This person's definitely in a hurry. So that's where I feel. Very spontaneous. Very sudden. It's a shock. A surprise. It's going to come in out of the blue. You know, this, is, this person's no quitter. They're not giving up. You see? They're realizing they don't want to give up. But they also don't want you to give up. <laughs> you guys are driving each other crazy, whoever you are. But I just see happiness. I really actually feel something is funny. But shock, a surprise, very sudden. That's why I say I could see that, that eight of wands coming out where this person's just going to, you know, make a sudden choice and just go for it. And whatever happens here. It is possible that someone who maybe feels like it's too late, it's already over. And you've already moved on. But I also see the scenario where somebody may be suddenly deciding to end something. It's an energy of something starting and ending just as fast. See, they're looking at that. They don't want to give up. Someone's looking back here at this. Feeling a little beat up like this, you know. So stop driving each other crazy. Somebody, somebody just start this already. Someone just communicate. It does look like it's them spontaneously not wanting to give up because we have an emperor here. This is somebody who's, you know, they're leveling up. They're at that level. This is someone who's actually ready for a relationship. But And they may have even looking to, at themselves. Am I actually ready for this? Like, there's that little bit of fear. But honestly, I feel there's something really funny, like, you know, here. Let me pull a couple cards out, and we'll see where this goes, Scorpio. See, they're, they're confident this could be something long-term. It can be successful, and that's what I feel. They're just building the confidence, and all of a sudden, okay, I'm just going to live in the moment. I'm just going for it. Hopefully, it's not too late. Yeah, see, yes. This is somebody, that's that jump for joy. See, yes, they're very positive, and I actually feel if they come in, you'll say yes to this person. Yeah, earth and grounded. See, they're grounding themselves. They're trying to stay grounded, be sensible, practical. But it's an energy of aloof. Two people acting a little aloof. Now, I don't know if, if you both got Cap, uh, Capricorn in your chart, but it certainly looks like they do. This is somebody, we know Capricorns, when they really like someone, they kind of obsess over it. So, but I see some Taurus energy too. So, yeah, but that's why I feel it's both people. But who's going to start it? You know, seeing the truth, the light bulb going off. They're trying to come up with an idea. I feel they have ideas, plan A, plan B. But earth and grounded. So it's an energy of grounding, getting grounded. Yeah, see, blessings and abundance. 
Yeah, so see, you both want it. It's, I feel there's a lot of mutual energy here, and the mirroring is pretty clear. So take care, you guys. You know, hey, have fun in your love life, too. Sometimes it's a little fun. It's fun to have a little excitement, because I see some excitement here. Take care. See you soon.